Let's begin, feet are side by side. Just gaze into the distance for a moment, using that breath as you breathe gently in and out of your nose, just a normal breath right now. Just taking a second to settle down. Put your weight into your right foot and step out about hip to shoulder width with your left. The feet are parallel facing forward. They root firmly into the earth. Really feel all the parts of the foot and the toes. Really feel that settle in. A little bit more weight in your heel. As you then move up your legs, just softening the knees, letting the energy flow, also letting you sink more deeply. The pelvis tucking forward. Lift your spine, really lift up. Maybe jiggle a little side to side, bringing the rib cage off the pelvic bones, creating expansiveness and extending that expansiveness to the cervical spine, the bones of the neck, as you gently tuck the chin, reaching the arms down. Inhale, float the arms up to shoulder height, bringing the hands over. Then exhale, float the palms down. Do that again, inhaling up. Bring the palms together, draw them to your heart center and gaze at the fingertips. Separate the hands, one hand open, the other in a loose fist of greeting. And set the intention today to let your breath help you sink down, relax, and fill with peacefulness. Bring your hands to your lower dantian. It doesn't matter which hand is on top or on the bottom. The lower dantian is the area behind and below your navel. And what we're really gonna focus on now is long, slow, deep breathing, inhaling through the nose, letting the lower abdomen move out and down as the diaphragm pushes down with the inhale. And then exhale. The lower abdomen moves back in with a gentle drawing in at the very end of the exhale. Be here for another minute, so just relax into your breath. Gaze is soft in the distance, the eyes are open. We keep the eyes open in Qigong for most of our practices because it helps draw in fresh chi, especially directly to the gallbladder and liver. Even if you don't have a gallbladder, the energy channels are still there. So we want to clear as we exhale and draw in through the eyes, so keep them open. Just a soft opening though, they're not wide. some bouncing and shaking. This is the fastest way to release tension. You've seen swimmers and athlete, other athletes do it. When they're getting ready to compete, just letting go. And we're gonna turn to one side, really let the head bob tune and then the other. Clearing blockages along the spine, letting tension and stress flow into the earth. It's really great to imagine you're like a limp noodle here. You don't want to have a rigid holding body. Just let it kind of flop. <laughs> like you're trying to get that piece of spaghetti that just 
can't grasp because it's so wibbly wobbly. That'll let your tension melt away. Pause a moment, close your eyes, go within, and notice any changes just from the breath and the shaking for a moment. Open your eyes, we're gonna bounce and shake just a little bit more, turning side to side, clearing any last blockages that you might have noticed when you were observing. Remember that nice, loose, weak, like very wobbly motion body. And come center. Now we're gonna imagine we're shaking water off our hands, but we're gonna bend down. So coming up, hands are about chest height, and then shake. Can really picture any stress, anxiety, worries, overthinking, moving down through the soles of your feet like compost into the earth and flicking off your fingers. This motion is great for arthritis, by the way, preventing and easing the symptoms. Couple more. Good. Now, we're going to do pulling down the heavens, but with a slight variation. That's the movement that we do. It's called natural respiration or pulling down the heavens. But we're going to go higher. So normally we stop our arms at shoulder height, but we're going to bring them all the way overhead. Still keep the shoulders down. Don't let them really crimp up. And then when we come down, we're gonna really bend our knees down as well. Inhaling up, you can gaze up if you want. Exhale, float down. Picture drawing in energy. From the heavens, moving it through your body. Cleansing and washing. Slow, deliberate movements instill a sense of peacefulness. This effortless vitality. If bending the knees is too much, you don't need to do that. And if you're in a chair, you can actually just get the same response from the upper body. Inhaling up. Exhale down. feels stressful in any way, just breathe gently. Each day is different. Your lungs might not be as open today, so just honor that. This pumping action really lets your worries flow into the earth through the feet. It opens the energy in the hips and legs and lets you fill with this vibrant energy. And keep the legs stable as you exhale the hands down. Full body flow. Step the feet out about one and a half times shoulder width. If you are able, 
to keep this, this just will open along the hips a bit more, the lower back, and really help you release. But if that's uncomfortable, you can come back to the position that we were doing. For this, we're gonna inhale the arms up through center, gaze up, the wrists are soft, and they flow down as we come all the way down and back. Hands come slightly behind you. Inhaling up, lifting up, and it's like a wave, almost like a stream, a beautiful, peaceful stream flowing down the mountain. And each time you exhale, your worries, your stress, any anxiety flows out your feet. And as you inhale up, you fill with this beautiful, peaceful energy from the earth. emotions can get stuck when our body is stuck. So as you move your body, your emotions also release, letting you come, come to a state of just calm peace. That's our natural state. That's how we're supposed to be. We get so tossed about <laughs> like a ship on the waves of the ocean. And we just want to find that calm. Going with the flow that takes us where we need to be. We'll do one more. Bring the hands just to about hip height almost wave, wave them like you're just kind of settling the energy and bring them down. Close your eyes and go within. Scanning your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Down the sides of your head, your shoulders to your fingertips. You might notice your heart rate is a little elevated. That's great, that moves the blood. When our circulation flows, we can release our worries. Open your eyes, and we're going to go ahead and do, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> parting the waves. I just had to think for a moment here. And so for the parting of the waves, we're going to really envision drawing earth energy up through um, the earth, through our palms, through our feet, and really drawing this up through the center of the body. And then we're going to bring the palms out and release any stagnant chi. So it's going to look like this. Bending the knees, drawing up, really drawing, almost like you're bringing a chi ball through the center. And then the hands come forward and you release down. Scoop, gather, draw in this earth energy all the way through you and down. Remember, keep the feet parallel if you're able. If you need to step them out, um, point the toes out a little bit, that's fine. Just keep the toes the ankle protected by keeping the knees behind the toes. Let go of your overthinking. Bring in peaceful, grounded energy from the earth. Inhale.
If it feels right, you can follow your hands with your gaze. For balance, you might need to keep the gaze at one point on the floor or in the distance. Just tune in with what you need. Really picture this earth energy drawing up, moving through you, and releasing what no longer serves you. Beautiful moving meditation. We'll do one more. And settle. Cloud hands. We're going to do a little bit faster version than the one we've done um, in the past. And it's a very just kind of like a flowing, swirling movement. So I'm going to show you each hand one at a time. The lower hand is very easy. That's just going to be like what we've done before where it just comes um, at the lower height. So which, when you bring your hand from the upper position to the lower position, the lower hand will just float like this, imagining that you're moving through clouds. The upper hand comes in front of the face, probably pretty, pretty close, just really just this beautiful energetic. And we're going to turn, and as we come to the outside, the hand's gonna press out, the palm comes out and down and becomes the lower hand. So let's do that each side just of the one hand, just practicing what that's like. So we're going to flow in this for a couple of minutes, so I want to make sure you feel comfortable. All right, now let's practice the other hand. Turning, the hand comes out, down. The hand comes up, out, down. We'll do one more. And we're gonna do the same thing, but just moving both hands at the same time, alternating in this flow. So it'll look like this. And again, it's a little rapid. You can slow it down if it feels stressful to you. Just do a gentle breath. You don't need a synchronized breath with movement. Just even forget the breath, but do make sure that your knees are soft, that your pelvic is, pelvis is tucked, that your spine is long, and your shoulders relax down. This movement is a fire element movement that calms the heart. All emotions pass through the heart it is such a workhorse when it comes to your emotional well-being. So this just calms heart energy, releases blockages, down into the earth through your feet. We'll do a few more. We'll 
One more each direction. And settle. Good. Okay, we're going to do five times this rise and fall again. Um, it's just going to be with our arms, so it's very similar to when we did the parting clouds going down, but instead of going down, we're just going to do our arms. So we inhale, draw up, exhale, the hands reach forward and move down. And the image here is that you're drawing in light, like a candle in a dark room this gentle glow within you, illuminating the darkness that might surround you during your day. Bringing energy in so you can shine and glow with peaceful calm. Bring your feet hip width apart if they're not and take a moment to close your eyes and go within. Scanning your emotions, your energy, and your physical body. Whatever rises to the surface, don't, don't force it. Just see what comes up as you breathe gently in and out of your nose. Continue to work on that heart a little bit more. So make um, kind of open fist with your thumbs on the outside of your index fingers. Your knuckles are flat because we're going to knock up and down the heart here. This again, the heart does so much to filter all the emotions. The different organs sense the emotions, but the heart is the one that gives them meaning. So if your spleen is setting you up for some overthinking and worrying, the heart is taxed with that energy. If your liver sends up anger or your kidney fear, the heart has to deal with it. So keeping your heart clear allows all of the other organs to clear as well. Just a gentle awakening here. A lot of our anxiety, stress, and lack of peaceful energy come from anger and irritation. And this next move is a wood element move, tree swaying in the wind. And it is so powerful for balancing that wood element energy, calming the liver, which will help you release all of the kind of ripple effects that come from that anger and irritation. So bring both hands, palms down above your pelvis, but below your navel. Inhale, turn to one side, continuing the inhale as you bring your hands up overhead and turn back to center. Keeping your gaze forward, exhale, the hands float out and down to the sides. Coming back to the starting position. Inhaling as you turn and bring the hands overhead, fingertips pointing towards the head, but not touching. Exhale, down. As you slow your body, you calm and relax your mind, your emotions. You transform stress 
into vital energy to vitality. You activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which calms you down. You calm your adrenals. Just enjoy this slow, gentle movement. Do one more each side. Bring your feet side by side if you are able and have good balance. If you struggle, you can keep your feet about hip to shoulder width apart. We're going to end with centering because all states of peacefulness come from when you are centered within your emotional body, energetic body, and physical body. Let this serve as a metaphor and a reminder for how to come to your natural state of being. Inhale, gaze at one palm as it floats out, up overhead, and then gaze at your thumb as it exhales and draws down through center, turning palm up. Inhale, the other hand comes out, gazing at that palm as it lifts overhead and then gaze at the thumb as you exhale and draw down through center. And we'll be here just for one more minute. Make sure your knees are soft and your pelvis is relaxed forward and down really allowing the body to ground so you can center. One more time each side. Bring your hands to your lower dantian. It doesn't matter which touches the abdomen and which hand is on top. Just do what feels right and close your eyes and go within. Rock and sway. Rock and sway. Letting go. Letting your chi move where it needs. Breathing gently. Release your hands, open your eyes. 
Thank you for joining me for this Qigong for stress and anxiety to invite in peacefulness.